Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. So yeah, this is gonna be it for a while. I will probably eventually do the post game. But yeah. I'm take a little break on it. Probably focus on Galaxy 2. Redo that from scratch again. Boom. Just the mic here. Ugh. Once again, Mario heads for space. Always welcome for that. Indeed, Mario. Indeed. Welcome to the final frontier. Once again, plumber boy. Or should I say plumber man? I mean, seriously, what is Mario's age at this point? Point thirtieth anniversary. His twenties, probably during Super Mario Brothers or Donkey Kong. Come on, he's probably well in his 50s or 40s. 30s at, at best. I know Miyamoto said otherwise, but yeah. A right, little hard for me to believe. If in my mind, he's probably middle-aged, because Mario is kind of an experienced dude. Dude, you just can't say to me with a straight eight face that um Mario couldn't pull this sh this stuff off at his 50s. I almost slipped there. I'm cursed. Whew. His uh Dark Knight returns. And I mean Tony had to be in his well around middle age or in his late 40s or 50s during Endgame. And for the time period he was born in. Grab them real quick. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of power moves. I almost thought we weren't going to make it. Yeah, when I first introduced to this, I knew this was coming, but the sheer creativity for an, for your lava level is actually pretty interesting because it's inside the moon. You know, rather than Bowser's castle. Sure, there's a lot of industrial-like beams there, but you can't doubt the moon rocks. I wanted to spin dive off of that. That would have looked so cool. So cool. Right. Mario's just having a bad day right there. Well, at 
least we can spin dive. Fly! I know there was a power moon right Okay, there's some uh points. There's the I think uh something. Oh a moon! Fly Mario! Fly! And don't worry, I already have a thumbnail for this. It's pretty good. Like as I was saying, I really like the creativity for this area. Well, it fits the traditional Bowser theme we did not get in Bowser's Kingdom. It... It alone is unique. Because it's inside the moon. And the whole, uh, moon... Rock thing... Theme... Is being played here. Like, you can see on the, uh... Walls... Of where the... Pillars of, uh, flowing magma is. Right there. And on the floor here. Plus, the music is just a headbang. And you pretty much go through all the captures you went through previously in the game. Unfortunately, my skill with House of the Dead has improved my aim. And Doom, Eternal. Pick up Boomerang! So yeah, I was really appreciative of how fun this, this little section was. Us, because we didn't get like a traditional lava level, but then we did. It, but at the same time, we didn't. And it's more akin to like the Melty Molten Galaxy. You can see little motifs of Bowser here and there. Well, at the same time, you can see it's just molten moon caverns. Plus, going through the captures, like I said again, that you went through previously on the journey, is pretty fun. Then you get to be a bonsai bird. Mom, baby, make it! Thank you. 
then they add some new captures to the mix. Like the Charging Chuck. Which I was really a fan of because, uh, I had Super Mario Advance 2. Basically the Game Boy Advance port of the, uh, Super Mario World game back on the Super Nintendo. And I like how it's just Mario, like, weaving his way through all these obstacles just to get the peak. He can save her from Bowser. And the music only makes it... adds a lot more flavor to it, too. Plus, I used to play through you like crazy. So seeing these guys back put a smile on my face. Yeah, I take it Mario was just acting in self-defense, mostly. Self-defense, once again. And to top it off, they make it, give it a harder Adam Brood back. Ow. I know it's like the first boss you face, but he's a little tough. No, I mean, they gotta save Bowser for that. That finale, you know? I would have preferred an original boss, but this works. Just letting you know they ain't going around. Yeah, I might think I'm covering Pokemon Legends Arceus. But if I do that, I might do it more casually. Like, I wouldn't go after every single Pokemon. Like, I'd transfer the, a lot of them from home. To fill the decks up. And probably go after some of the uh, post story content. And mission specific Pokemon. You know, it reminds me, the last time Bowser and Peach wedded in Super Paper Mario, which awakened the Chaos Heart. So, in a sense, I guess Bowser's motives were rather sinister in this game. Theft, forced marriage, and he knows the consequences. But Mario knows he's not gonna let... Everything 
Go away again this time. Yeah, because if anyone remembers Super Paper Mario, you almost the chaos part almost caused the well the end of everything. All worlds have been gone. If it wasn't for Mario and Company. Now I know what you're thinking about the whole whole thing about the Paper Mario timeline, but I think the first three games are canon to the main timeline because. Uh, Charles voice Mario in the first three games of the uh, Paper Mario. Well, the, the first two games. Well, not first two, but but uh, specifically Thousand Year Door and Super Paper Mario. You know, and they really didn't play on the paper for aesthetic until uh, Sticker Star. And I don't know. But either way, we all know the count. Alright, game time. I have a taste of your own medicine. Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, very closely. You can actually see Mario punching alongside with uh, Bowser's little trick hat. <laughs> giving him a taste of his own medicine. And then his as well. Oops! Yeah, originally I had trouble with this boss fight, believe it or not. Yeah, and Game Explain was right about this being very different from the previous Bowser fights. It was something else, and I love it. Oh, come on, you knew this was coming. The minute we saw the capture mechanic, 
let's not even pretend that this wasn't going through our minds. That this would be a possibility. This part is just all around fun. I love how the triple jump is just like our Stanley Andrews jump. Like you can hear a little bits of Martin A in Kenny James' voice here. And I love it. I don't know if they like combine the voices or like Martin A gave uh, Kenny Kenny James like a. Uh... Oops. Or if like Charles like gave Kenny like um a little bit of instructions how to do Mario. Because I can definitely see, like, this is Mario and Bowser's body. It sounds like Mario threw Bowser a little. And that was impressively well done in detail. So perhaps, perhaps to both Kenny James and Charles Martinet for this. Next time, we'll be a little careful here. Yeah, this put the grand in grand finale. I like the little callbacks, like with the fire being a nod to the fire flower and just Bowser breathing fire casually. <laughs> I mean, you see it, right? And I like how the actions were like, uh, with buttons you do a melee attack, but shaking the Joy-Con you do breathe fire for a more um, uh, projectile-like attack. And of course, this whole little bit here just sells the whole scene. Making the Moon Kingdom unforgettable. Like a lot of Aussie's level design is just brilliant. Like the whole game's level design is brilliant, but they just really went all out. I'm making it stand out. And interestingly enough, this can also hint at a possible multiplayer, like I said earlier, the sequel with Kyara. Now if you excuse me, it's time to give credit where credit is due. In a little bit. <laughs> 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 
Aww. I love this little scene. Next time, Mario. Next time. Your time will come. I'm for it. You and Peach will eventually get married. I know you. It's Will. Maybe today is not that day. But at least you two can just watch the stars together. And time to give credit where credit is due, because this is a fantastic game. So yeah, oddly enough, in the original concept art, Mario and Peach got married. Originally, I thought they were married, because, um, far back as I can remember from Mario Bros. Deluxe, I had a cousin who had it, and she got to the end. And, um, I think they got married at the end, I'm not 100% sure. My memories are fuzzy. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but I would like to see... I'd like to see the original concept for the two actually married. Because it would have opened the more room for plots in future Mario games. Well, that's my opinion, but, eh, let me kind of do what they want. But, either way, I liked it. I like the ending scene. And, but, I, if they were making Odyssey 2, with, uh, probably playing on the wedding team again, eh, I'd let Mario and Peach have their lucky day. Pokemon Legends Arceus credits. Apparently digital parts also help with Legends Arceus as well. The first one I saw from Game Freak. I welcome it. Thank you so much for playing my game. Hey, anytime, Mario. Thank you for such an amazing game. That's still, you have plenty to do, but that's for another video.
The 265 moons with the main story. There's a lot more to go. Agreed, but that is for another video. Until next time, everybody, see you around.